Hello, welcome to the uh, IPFS community call for Monday, November 25th. My name is Eric Ronnie, and I am taking over for is it Alex. Were you the host most recently? <laughs> and yep. uh, if you all, you know, y'all probably guessed that by how excited he is to hand over hosting, <laughs> the hosting honors to me. This is, uh, <laughs> thank you. I received them with grace and thankfulness. Speaking of thankfulness, this week is in the U.S. is a uh, holiday week, Thanksgiving, and so uh, some of us in the states uh, may be uh, already on vac on vacation. And additionally, some uh, there's been there's been some traveling with uh, various team members. So uh, all that to say, thanks, especially to those of us who are able to attend today, and we've got some uh, a couple of, of minor items today but this is supposed to be lightning lightning talks so if you any of any of you here have something that you've been itching to share um, perhaps something that you've been noodling on in the in the shadows uh, that is built on IPFS and you're excited to give us some kind of a, a insight into that a little sneak peek if you will that would be awesome don't be shy to raise your hand um, but we do have a couple of agenda items already. Terry Chadbourne, our Proto School head, has uh, graciously raised her raised her hand in advance. So why don't we head over to Terry? Show us what you got. Oh, and if we have someone who's willing to take notes, that'd be great. I will paste the doc. Uh, video. Yes, this is me. So we have a few things on the proto school front that'll be super quick to show you, but I just want to highlight they exist. Um, one is uh, my good friend Jill, who joined the team very recently, has built a tutorial on the regular files API. So this is the, the API that helps you deal with files, but not the part that has dot files in it that is the mutable file system, the other stuff at the top level. Um, so this is here for you. It goes through uh, commands like add and get and these kinds of things. So feel free to poke in here. You would need um, JavaScript skills to do this one because it is full of coding challenges, but that is basically the only requirement. You don't need to be super familiar with IPFS yet. Um, and then I made my menu bar disappear somehow. Um, crap. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then we have, um, actually, I'll show you this first. So Alan's on the call, and Alan introduced us at IPFS camp to a tool called the CID Inspector. And I have uh, upgraded the Proto School site, so across the entire site, not just one tutorial. If the result of a lesson of an exercise that you do a coding challenge is a CID, you will see a lovely view in CID inspector button, which goes to the tool that Alan built, which is pretty cool. Um, and it was simple to implement, think, based on the previous work that people did to make it so you can view things in the PLD inspector. Um, the other thing we've done recently, obviously, Jill and I are adding content as we can and at the speed that we can, but. Uh, we would love your help. And one of the things that we've been lacking, we've, we have instructions and have for a while that are about uh, building tutorials. So within view, what files do you need, what to put where, how to do the validation. But the thing that we were missing is this, like, what can Proto School handle? Um, what are our guiding principles? Like, what content belongs here? And how do you build stuff that works well? So we have stuff here on the lesson types. We have things here on limitations, like, you can only build things that will run in JavaScript in the browser for code challenges, or we can validate IPFS under the hood, but we can't validate web P2P yet, so that kind of information. And then tips about just creating the lessons, breaking things down into manageable chunks, teaching a single concept, avoiding accidentally teaching JavaScript when you're trying to teach IPFS, all that stuff. So there's a lot of information here, but this is the first stop. Um, so you're going to read the designing effective for proto school tutorials first. Make sure you have an idea that's going to work. Submit that as a as a tutorial suggestion. We can talk about it together. And then we have the developing um, 
developing tutorials guide, which is still there just in a slightly different place that you can move to um, when you're ready to figure out how to actually build things in Vue, all that stuff. So um, that resource is there for anyone who's interested in learning more about whether an idea they have would make sense on PowerSchool. Thanks, Terry. Any questions? Has anyone had the opportunity to take to uh, noodle around in that new tutorial? I have. Approved. Stephen, um, you look like you're about to take off with a motorized beanie on your head. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Um, oh, yeah. So oh, I, uh, I thought it might be it might be interesting to to bring you all up to speed. Uh, just give a little report on what the documentation squad has been up to. So we were formed. Uh, three of us are actually in in this call right now. Terry and Jessica is waving. And uh, additionally, uh, Chris Waring and uh, Jill from Moxie is uh, uh, Jill and and Terry are the Proto School uh, component of of our documentation squad. And you know, Proto School, of course, is very closely you know, thematically linked with with documentation because it's all about learning and and uh, all a part of our ecosystem. We've we've had since uh, we've been around since the third quarter, and the, the OKRs are available to be uh, to be viewed anytime. And I why don't I, I can link you all to just as a as far as a refresher goes um, to our OKRs for this upcoming. Well, I'll I'll jump right to the upcoming quarter here. Many windows, too many windows. But that, that'll link you to the public OKRs for uh, all of IPFS if you click on the tabs down at the bottom. But that should surface the Docs tab uh, in particular. So the key uh, and you know the, the big task in front of us is to redo docs.ipfs.io and our uh, our north star for this quarter is to launch uh, a, a beta version of that and I'll give you a little sneak peek but let me oh this is an interesting thing a small change that we've made to ipfs.io Refresh because the stars all disappear. There we go. A while back, we added this little little get started sort of user based goal um, feature, which enables users to better wrap their heads around the kinds of things that IPFS can do for them. But additionally, we very recently. Uh, th this this used to say implementations at the top, and now it says install and auto scrolls you down to a nicely uh, organized little set of of our implementations. But impl but we wanted to make sure that our that our language was extremely uh, user friendly, and uh, of course most of our users are very familiar with the word implementations. But we err on the side of uh, of user friendliness for the most basic of users. And of course, if you want to, and, and these two implementations are, are, of course, the keys, keys to the kingdom, and, and great, great little gateways to uh, IPFS land. Oh, this is the current docs.ipfs.io. A couple of the issues with it: there, there's no search, um, and there are, you know, a lot of a lot of links off to other pages which are off of the website uh, and there's no context. So um, it, one of our goals is to give more context around everything. So not to have a lot of links 
that are in the main navigation that immediately take you right off the site. That can be a little bit uh, disorienting. Uh, and we have implemented previously this little, was it helpful, yes or no, and that's gonna help us to prioritize content improvements. We plan to port that into the new uh, upcoming website. Um, but uh, where's uh, Shipyard? So many tabs, so little time. If you wanna keep tabs, speaking of tabs, metaphorically, on our progress, the, uh, the Docs Issues website is a great place to do that. And I always have trouble sharing links and chatting when I'm also sharing screen. So I will, I will update the doc after I share this. But we have created a simple label set that makes it easy for you to, to track what's going on four primary OKRs and the beta launch is, is the, the big and most exciting one currently. So if you want, if you uh, are interested in what's up or if you want to file an issue or if you want to file a PR, um, please, please, this is, uh, this is a great place to go and we covet your input in, in every respect. Additionally, we, we, uh, Love to test stuff with our users, and we had the opportunity to uh, to do some of that in kind of a, a a larger format with a lot of a lot of uh, our cohorts uh, IRL recently, and and we have a lot of good uh, a lot of good feedback. So one of the one of the main issues with the current um, Docs website is the information architecture, the structure of the navigation, the structure of the content itself. Um, it's, uh, it's not necessarily all intuitive. And so we, we have gone through a lot of rounds and we've, we've landed on something that we think is approaching a uh, good usable structure. And we've tested that. And whenever we test something and think that it's, that it's great, invariably, you know, Speaking to users opens opens our eyes, and it's amazing and wonderful thing. <laughs> I highly recommend it. So, these are a lot of a lot of future changes, changes that we'll be making in the coming days are implicit in in this doc right here. But this is the uh, this is the current uh, the current beta. It's not quite beta. I don't know what the the word is for a beta that isn't quite released yet. It's a conundrum. Let, let me, it, again, I, I, I don't know if anyone has uh, better access to chat than me right now, but docs-beta.ipfs.io. I'll just drop it into the notes here. Oh, there it is in the notes, boom. So this is built in ViewPress, uh, which offers, you know, some, Built-in benefits, you know, a lot of a lot of widgetry that that's just kind of automatic, uh, and it's got a, a nice feature, which is sort of a content filtering feature as opposed to a global Google-style um, search. But super easy, super super friendly, and the navigation is is pretty easy to grok. We think in terms of the categories right from the get-go. But, and you aren't you aren't completely overwhelmed with a lot of sub options uh, but I will say that the content you know the the first goal was to port over the content into a new structure with a with a new uh, engine running it and then to really start iterating on the content itself so a lot of this content the the lion's share by far is stuff that that looks familiar and a lot of it is stuff that needs a lot of work. So now that we're getting pretty close to launching the beta, um, that, is our, that is our huge task in front of us now is to just bang out, to start banging out even more uh, individual content issues. All along we have been, uh, you know, we're building the ship while we're flying it. So we have we have been knocking out issues all along, and here's our Zen Hub board. 
I'll leave a lot of these closed. Uh, but once yeah, we have this perfect. in place, then we're able, to, then we'll be able to really concentrate on that. And we, one, one, uh, as a visual designer, one of my passions is to make, uh, is is to do information visualization, you know, and diagrams and and to just uh, so so much of what of the space that we work in is all about you know concepts that are sometimes difficult to put into metaphors or into visuals. But once we take that time, I think that that the learning opportunities are great and we all learn in different ways and uh, visuals I think help all of us. I'm in talking and talking. Does, does anyone have uh, thoughts, comments, observations? This is the first time I've really seen the beta site and I love it. It's really good. Thank you. Can I chime in for a sec? Please. Um, Thank you so much, Eric, for running through this. This is awesome. We're super excited. Um, our our tentative launch date for this um, is is you know in an ideal situation. Um, in theory, by the end of the year, but in theory, theory and practice are the same thing. In practice, they're not. So um, you know we are we are working our best to uh, to sort of hit that, um, and we're getting there. We had a wonderful, wonderful set of user testing experiences over the last week or so with a bunch of internal folks. Um, we've also shopped this out to a couple of external folks. Um, but we would love if you would like to actually chat about the site with us. Um, I threw a link to a Google form in the chat for this meeting and then also in the meeting notes itself. Um, if you shoot your details in there, it'll ping us so that we know to ping you to be like, hey, let's have a talk about this. Um, you know, we, have a, we have a bunch of issues that we do hope to resolve. Um, but as Eric said, you know, the initial thing, um, the initial stage of launch is this is like content is on parity with the existing site. Um, you know, we have gone through and fixed some things that we've identified as, as broken as we migrated the content, but the content itself is, is at parity. Um, in Q1 and beyond, we do intend to do some really cool stuff with visualization, with actually cleaning up the content itself, but this pass is really just sort of fixed the navigation to make it easy to use to enable search, um, which is slowly getting better and better. Um, and then also really just to make it visually a, a much easier experience to navigate. So um, please continue to watch the space, but we would love to hear, because like, like a couple of you said, this is the first time you've seen this, and um, we'd love to hear from you if that's the sort of thing that you'd like to chat with us about. So throw your details in the Google form, and we will talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anybody else have any thoughts? I was going to just drop this link into the chat. Um, we've collected some, you know, the, we don't want to reinvent the wheel. There's a lot of really awesome documentation sites out there with amazing inspirational features and user-friendly design. And uh, we've collected some of them in, in that doc and I have capriciously, you know, just organized them and, and judged them according to how, uh, how amazing I think they are. And if you have done, if you want to scroll down to the bottom of that, and if you have any documentation sites, that you think uh, that you find that you find yourself always going back to, um, and you know, super technical ones or less technical ones, really, really anything, any sites that that explain something to you that that you think might be instructive for us and might might give us some um, some insight as to how we could make our documentation more friendly and uh, effective, please go ahead and drop it in there. And if you can add a note as to, you know, pointing us to specific features or aspects of that, that you dig, or those as many, you know, drop as many as, as you have. Um, because even after we're launched, you know, like, you know, like we said several times today, this, this is, this is a never ending project. And, um, you know, just like IPFS, so. Stephen, did you have a hand? And relatedly, even if you didn't, the way that your fan is strobing in the meeting, it's like going backwards and it's glorious. Uh, sorry, I had a fly. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, back and forth. 
So we could give, uh, give us all a few minutes back to our day. If anyone has any closing comments, thoughts, wishes, compliments to, uh, or thanks to Alex for his amazing hostery in the past, in previous four weeks. Virtual brews you want to send him. Awesome. <laughs> Doesn't need to be virtual for you, Ollie. You can just walk down the street, more or less, which I am very jealous. All right, thanks very much, folks. Uh, stay tuned. Watch this space. See you soon.